Hello, it's John Lord here uh, at the beginning of the season once again and we're going to talk about Hypericums. And But before we talk about that, let me just introduce you, you to my new wheelbarrow. I decided to take myself to a new wheelbarrow, a really big one. Brood of a wheelbarrow, we had to give it a name, it's so big. We, we were going to call it, we, we weren't sure whether we'd call it Rocky or Rambo or Bluebell. But, but we decided uh, to uh, to settle on Herbie, so it's called Herbie. And just one interesting thing about the colour, it's blue. Now a lot of people like for garden tools and implements, uh, they tend to go for greeny colours because they sort of look more appropriate and they blend in more to the garden. For tools and anything like that, go for garish colours because otherwise you might miss you might miss them in the garden. They're not so obviously so bad with a big wheelbarrow like that. But see that like that sack of tears there, it's red. Garish red colour. Now if that was a nice pleasant olive green, fair enough, but you're halfway through cutting back and you've lost your sack of tears, it's no good. So it's no harm if you have a, a, um, a particular favourite favoured garden implement and you keep losing it, get a bit of red paint and paint it or get a bit of red tape, put a bit of red tape around it, make it look like a barber's pole or something so that you notice it and you don't waste valuable gardening time. But anyway, here we are, we're going to talk about Hypericums and this one here is one that's grown for its berries. They're the remains of last year's berries, it's red berries. Uh, uh, Hypericum inodorum, something or other. Red something, red star or red whatever. Doesn't matter, there's lots of different ones. It's also used for in the, in the floristry business. It makes a very good, uh, very good cut stem. It's semi-evergreen. Uh, in as much as anything can be semi evergreen because how, how can you be semi and ever? It's either ever or not ever. But anyway, it means that it more or less, there's a little gap between one year's and the next. Now, if it was fully deciduous, there'd be a larger gap. But there's a very a little gap. There's no leaves on it for a very short amount of time. And then the new stuff comes on. And here's the, here's the new ones coming on. Now, um, we're going to cut it back in a minute uh, because they get they get when they get very large they get a bit unwieldy and they're better off kept kept being kept tight. Another thing about them is they flower on the young wood, and this is a very important point in gardening. A really important point. If you if you have you cut your plant back to here and it grows to say there, and it flowers at the end of that growth, that means it flowers in the current wood, so you can cut it hard back. If you have a plant that you cut hard back in the spring and it grows that much and it doesn't flower, it needs an extra year, it, doesn't, it means it doesn't flower in the current wood, you have, like a lot of hydrangeas, you can't cut it hard back without losing a year's flowering. If you cut this hard back, it doesn't uh, lose any flowering time and burying time. It has a little yellow flower, which is all right. It's not brilliant, but it's all right. It has a little problem, it tends to seed around a little bit. But, and there's a seedling over here, actually. See it in there. But if it's in the wrong place, just take it up. It will grow anywhere, more or less. It'll grow in very dark situations, it'll grow in bright situations. Once it's not a total bog, it will grow. So that's Hyper... We're going to cut it back. But before we cut it back, we're going to look at another Hypericum up here. And compare the difference. This is Hypericum hit coat named after the famous English garden. It is fully evergreen. Now, it doesn't produce any berries and the flowers are bigger. And because it doesn't produce any berries, it flowers for much longer. It is a really good shrub. Its main drawback is that it's easy to grow and it's very popular and a lot of people don't like popular, uh, easy growing stuff and so it gets neglected. It is one of the best decorative shrubs there is. Now some people, as I say, they, 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 uh, they dam it with faint praise, they say, oh it's a car park shrub, you see it growing in car and plantings around car parks, that's because it's easy and there's nothing wrong with something being, e something being easy. If this was hard to grow or it needed special soil, everyone would want it, but because it's easy to grow, people sort of take it for granted. It has lovely, largish yellow flowers. There's very little you can say about uh, wrong you can say about it. Now I'm not I'm gonna leave it alone this year because it has plenty of space. 
so it's not in the way. But once again, it flowers in the young wood, and if I cut that hard, as hard as I want back now, it will still flower this year. So don't be afraid, if it gets out of hand in your garden, to give it a good wallop back to the ground. Um, another point, we're going to cut this one back here. Um, we're going to use... We try this. It's a bit... The stems are a little bit thick, but I think this will work. Now, what I don't, what you should never do with shrubs, which are getting out of hand, is give them a little small haircut every year, because you turn it into a sort of a hedge, a sort of ill-shaped piece of hedging. You're better off cutting the thing hard back and then letting it grow, because it looks much looser and more natural. Don't be always out taking little bits from plants, unless you specifically want to grow a topiary to a particular shape, like a holly that you want to grow to a particular shape. Leave thing alone, give it a very hard cut back, leave it alone again, give it a very hard cut back a few years later. That's the best, in general, the best way to do stuff like that. Now here we, now here we go. Let's start this up. Now we'll, we'll put a bit of stuff into Herbie. Feed Herbie. There we are. Come back in. Uh, you see, there's a seedling here. Oh, wait, no, it's not. We to come back in two months' time or three months' time. That would be that size. Be lovely, compact bush, full of berries. Anyway, that's John Lord. Just reporting from the Hypericum front today.